Hey guys, so welcome to my summer favourites. Now, as I say at the start of every favourites video I do, um, for those of you who are new to my channel, the reason why I do seasonal favourites, so I do some autumn, winter, spring favourites um, at the end of each season. And the reason I do that is because um, I don't do monthly favourites anymore. When I first started my channel, I tried, but it was just so hard to keep up and I found it really difficult to uh, talk about new things I've used because I really don't use that many new products in the space of one month uh, so I thought why not do seasonal videos that way I can talk about products I've used in three months and thus seasonal favorites were born right so I'm just gonna do face eyes and lips I think that'll be the easiest so favorite foundation um, of the season would definitely have to be the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless foundation um, I've got it on today actually and it just blends like an absolute dream um, it's it's just so so buildable as well like it's it's one of those foundations where you can put on a layer see what you reckon and then you can go ahead and put on another layer uh, if you like because and you don't have to worry about it looking cakey or patchy in some areas or not blending properly like this will just blend like a dream like I apply this with my fingers and I'd be good to go but I like to finish with a damp sponge just so I get that nice uh, even coverage but honestly it blends beautifully using just your fingers if that's what you like if that's what you prefer to doing next for blush I've got two products here um, so this one is sadly discontinued. I bought this on eBay because I I've been wanting it for ages, so I did have to pay a pretty penny for it. It is the Estee Lauder Blush in Teas. Uh, I believe, or well, the full name is the Illuminating Powder J Jelly Blush. Jelly. I'll write it in the description box below. Sorry, just take the brush out. So there it is there, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is, it's like a pale rosy pink toned with a like with a nice shimmer to it and oh it's just it's the perfect spring summer blush ever it's oh, like words can't describe how beautiful it is and I'm so glad I got it even though I did have to pay a pretty penny for it so the next blush is thankfully not discontinued and even and to make things even better it's it's a drugstore product and this is the next blush in Angel I'm actually wearing it yeah I've got the I've got it on today actually and it's just a really soft peachy pink color. I reckon it's pretty universal. I reckon it suits the majority of skin tones from fair to at least medium skin tones. And it's, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's the blush you, you reach for when you're not sure what blush will go with your look because this will go with anything and everything. It's just, it is that good. I always go back to it and uh, it's, it's got to be definitely one of, if not my favorite blush of all time and it's six dollars so you can't go wrong. Next is a highlighter and this is the MAC Highlighter in Light Scapade. Now I thought that this had been discontinued in Australia but it hasn't been. Um, I, I, just in my opinion I think MAC stores here were out of stock for a while but now they've brought out the new packaging. Australia finally has it. So, um, or, or I should say finally have it. They've had it for a few months now but I ordered this a few months ago from eBay. Um, oh, but it's just a gorgeous, I'll see if I can swipe it on my hand, although it's a very subtle, yeah, it's, it's very, very subtle, you probably can't even see that on the back of my hand there, but on the cheeks, I've got it on today as well, I'm wearing half the products I'm talking about, um, and it's just such a nice, subtle, um, this is going to be the word of the day, it's a nice subtle highlighter, just so flattering, um, I use this in my Victoria's Secret, uh, Victoria's Secret model tutorial as well and I just love it I think it's the, I think it's just the perfect universal uh, highlighter that, that gives your skin that little extra oomph without being too disco ball like you know you're not going to be sparkling all over the place and finally I'm going to be talking about a setting spray I believe um, now strangely enough I haven't actually used this on my face yet so I can't give my opinion but it's the NYX dewy finish long-lasting setting spray I bought this both to try as a setting spray, which like I said, I haven't yet, but also to um, almost be like a, I almost wanted to see what it would be like as a dupe, well, not quite a dupe, but a substitute for MAC Fix Plus in the way of uh, spraying your brushes with this before using a pigment or a loose eyeshadow or something like that. So that I have tried. I have sprayed my brush with this before uh, using a pigment and I really, really like the way it worked. Um, you know, I, I barely had 
any fallout at all uh, after using this on my brush first. So I'm really interested to see how this measures up as a setting spray. Now I haven't actually used MAC Fix Plus, so even if I do try it out as a setting spray, I can't really compare it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube have. Uh, but yeah, I'm really interest interested to see how MAC Fix Plus compares to this in the way of um, using pigments and stuff like that. But anyway, like I highly recommend this and it's pretty cheap as well. All right, well that's all face products done. Um, next is eyes. I've got a few things here. I guess I'll start with eyeshadows. I'm gonna start with this one because I wanna be really careful with it. I don't think I can hold it up. It's my Stila Eyeshadow in Kitten. Oh good, I can hold it up a little bit. Although it's not focusing. Um, but I'm sure you've all seen what it looks like. So the Stila Kitten Eyeshadow is Gorgeous, everyone raves about it. There's a reason why they rave about it. It's just the perfect champagne eyeshadow. Um, I've got it on my inner corners today actually because I use it religiously as an inner corner highlight and also a highlight on my Cupid's bow. I haven't done that today, but I just love the way it looks on the Cupid's bow. It just helps make your lips look nice and pouty and full, which is good. More eyeshadows. Now, I'm going to have to talk about another discontinued item, but it is on eBay if you really want to get it. Um, and it is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening 8 Shadow Palette. Now this probably came out in 2013. Don't hold me, don't quote me on that. Uh, I think it might have been part of the Spring Collection. I think there were two palettes that came out that year for Spring. Um, and honestly, it's 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 very comparable to the Naked One palette. Like eight of the shades are very very similar to eight of the colors in. Um, the Naked One palette. For example, this color here is very similar to Sidecar. Um, this one's very similar to Buck. Um, I think this one might be similar to Smog. And this one's similar to Toasted. Um, and I think that one's similar to Hustle. And then that's Creep and, no, Creep and Gunmetal. God, I've done well to remember the uh, uh, the names of the eyeshadow colors there. So when this came out, this obviously would have been a steal for people who weren't uh, too keen on the hefty price tag that comes with the Urban Decay palette. And honestly, these are just as pigmented. The colors aren't exactly the same um, as the Urban Decay ones, but they are very comparable. Uh, for example, like although this is similar to Sidecar, it's it's never going to be Sidecar in my opinion. Sidecar is my absolute favorite Urban Decay eyeshadow of all time. It is just the perfect pale beige color in my opinion. Um, with lots of glitter, which is nice. But yeah, I've been, like I hadn't, like this had been sitting in my drawer for ages, I guess because it was limited edition, I was scared of touching it, but then I was like, you know what, I bought it, you know, I don't want it sitting there gathering dust, I'm gonna use it, and I've been using it every day since I've made that decision, which has been about a month or so, and, I, and yeah, I just love it. The other palette I want to talk about was the Naked Basics. Um, I'm so glad I bought this. Like, this is the perfect, um, go-to palette if you just want a really nice, classic, sophisticated, polished look. Um, and it's really good for traveling as well because it's so compact and it's got everything you need for a day-to-night look if you just want to be wearing neutrals. So yeah, I like to use this palette when I'm doing my makeup for a job interview or something like that because I feel like matte eyeshadows are just so sophisticated, so classic, uh, so universal. Um, and there's just that, they just give you that real polished look. Sorry, my camera was flashing then. Um, but yeah, it just gives you that real polished look. And and I love how there's there are five matte shades and one shimmer at the at the front, which is which makes a great inner corner highlight. So yeah, definitely recommend that. And I've been using it like crazy a lot as well. Next is a cream eyeshadow. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Sunlight Gold. I just swatch this. I'm running out of swatch space. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I didn't pick a good place to swatch that. It's just there. Just a pale gold colour, as the name suggests. And um, yeah, it's just a really nice base to, like, if you want to put. Um, champagne or gold colors on top and you want that extra oomph of color and also if you want that extra staying power as well. I've been wearing cream eyeshadows for ages ever since I discovered MAC paint pots and Maybelline color tattoos uh, because they just make your eyeshadow last all day and because I have deep set eyes my eyeshadow tends to crease on me quite significantly so 
yeah, definitely a must have uh, if you want your eyeshadow to last all day and if you have oily eyelids. So next are pencils and liners. Um, first one is the Rimmel Nude eyeliner. Like this is a this is a really good eyeliner if you want that really natural wide awake look. If you're not looking for something that's quite as dramatic as a white eye pencil to put in your waterline, this is going to be your best friend because it just gives that natural wide awake look. On that same line of neutral colors, uh, another eye pencil that made it to my summer favorites is the MAC uh, eye pencil in coffee. Now this is just, as the name suggests, a coffee color. I'll just swatch it there, that's it there. Don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, it's just a nice, deep, it's actually dark, I don't know why it's called, I suppose it's the color of coffee beans, but not actually coffee like once it's made. But yeah, it's definitely like a coffee bean color. Um, it's just really nice um, in the waterline if you want a, a bit of a pop in the eyes, but you don't want something as dramatic as black. Uh, I think this is really, really good if you're doing like a brown smoky eye. And finally, uh, I've got a gel eyeliner here. This is the this is the Mac uh, Fluid Line Eyeliner in Black Track. Um, yeah, I don't know why I bothered holding up the part. It's pretty black. I've used a fair bit of this actually. I've created a pretty big dent in it. Um, but I just wanted to use this because I've had it open for a while now, and Mac. Uh, gel liners are pretty notorious for drying out pretty quickly and well a lot of gel eyeliners do that's sort of the sad thing about them being in the pot form you really have to try and use them as quickly as you can if you want to get the most if you want to get the most of your money but yeah I've actually been really enjoying it uh, I guess the one thing I don't like about it that much is I wish it was just that little bit more pigmented because uh, I feel like if I want a really black black eyeliner I have to go over it a couple of times having said that though uh, it is very very forgiving um, which is which is good. It's forgiving in the way that if you make a mistake, because it's not that opaque, it's very very easy to fix. Plus, um, it blends out really really easily too. If you want to do it like a, if you want to smudge out your gel liner to do like a smudged out cat eye effect, like this is really really good for that. Right, and finally brows. Um, so I just sort of stick to my normal brow routine, which is just applying Mac Brun uh, eyeshadow, which is a matte. Uh, cool tone brown color. I just use an angled brush to apply that um, and recently I've been uh, using the Maybelline Brow Drama um, Brow Gel and uh, this is in medium brown but I think it's a little bit too light for me because my mum actually bought this for herself. She didn't really like it though so she gave it to me and her hair color is a bit lighter than mine. Um, so there's medium brown. I think the other color is dark brown but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah it's just a it's, it's, it's a fairly new product here in Australia. I don't know how long it's been um, out in other countries. But as you can see, it's just got like that... It's, just, it's a very interesting shape wand. It's not your typical uh, brow wand. Like I use it to apply and brush through the product. And I really like the effect it gives. It just... Because I've... Because I've tried clear brow gels before and they just didn't really work for me. But this one's really, really good. I think it's more the formula, like not the fact that it's actually tinted, although I do like the fact that it's tinted because it just helps my, make my eyebrows look that little bit more opaque and perfect and polished, I guess. But um, yeah, like the formula it's, itself, like it, it keeps your eyebrows down without looking, you know, they still look natural, they still look like eyebrows. <laughs> All right, finally, lip products, and I have a few. I'm gonna start off with a lip stain. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain. Uh, being summer over here, I just love wearing lip stains. I'll just do a swipe of that. It's just a very sheer, it's a very sheer lip stain. Um, but I think it, it's quite nice because it's a very natural color. Next is uh, a favorite that I've come back to actually, and it's the, well, yeah, I'm going to talk about these two together because I wear them together. And this is the NYX Dolly Pink Lip Liner, along with the another product by NYX. It is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa. I'll just swatch these two for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just love wearing these together. Ever since I saw a blog post, um, oh, I really wish I could... If I can find it, I will post it in the description box below. It was a blog post made ages ago. So there's the two lip colors there. That's Dolly Pink and that's Addis Ababa. There was a blog post uh, a number of years ago now. It was when that Selena Gomez song, Love You Like a Love Song, first came out. Uh, this girl recreated the four different makeup looks that Selena wore in that video. And like I remember when I, when I first saw that um, 
music video and you know there's that scene where she's got the really dramatic winged eyeliner and the bright pink lip and she's like hitting a pinata um i just remember looking at her lips and i was like oh my god what lip color is she's is she wearing because it was the most beautiful vivid pink color so i hunted around i wanted to see if someone actually found out the exact color she was using I didn't find that out, but instead I stumbled across this girl and she used these two together to get a very vivid pink colour that was very, very close to what Selena was wearing in the video. So this has been my go-to uh, lip combo when I want to do a really vibrant pink. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Razzle. Oh, don't you just love... Oh, I, just, I just hope whoever's watching this it is just a... Is just a, as big of a lover as pink as me because I just see that and oh, I just melt inside. Uh, it's just a beautiful fuchsia pink. Uh, it's it's just gorgeous and the formula is so creamy and so pigmented as well. I know that the, some of the lighter shades in the Butter Lipstick Collection are fairly sheer but as you get darker into the bolder pink shades and the darker colors of that collection, they do get quite pigmented, which is really, really good um, because they have that nice creamy finish. Next is the Milani Lipstick in Fruit Punch. Now this is like a real corally pink color. It's quite deceiving on camera, at least. It's kind of showing true to color. It almost looks a tiny bit orange on camera, but it's definitely coral. Um, when I first, because we don't have Milani readily available in Australia, I bought that from Cherry Culture and I'd only ever seen pictures of it on blogs and on Google Images and stuff like that and it's very deceiving in photos. Um, in a lot of the photos I saw it was it looked very very pink um, and then I bought it and I saw that it was a very coral shade and I was like oh that isn't quite what I expected. I still love it and I still think it's a very nice spring summery look but yeah it's, it's definitely different to what I expected. Finally, as a tradition that I seem to have in all of my favorites videos, a MAC lipstick. And this one is in Pink Pearl Pop. So I'll just swatch that there. And it's just a nice sort of bubblegum everyday pink color. Yeah, slightly warm toned bubblegum pink color is the best way to describe that. Um, I just love MAC lipsticks. And what finish is this? It's a cream sheen, so brilliant cream sheen uh cream sheen ones are very moisturizing and they don't cling to dry patches on the lips which is really 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 good i guess i'll just give a shout out to to this lip gloss because i haven't mentioned a lip gloss um i use this in my victoria's secret tutorial that i posted recently and this is the nyx um what is it mega shine lip gloss in salsa i'll swatch it for you guys but i don't think it'll really show up because it's a very sheer type of lip gloss like it's not one of the super pigmented ones I guess you can kind of see it that's it there and it's just uh yeah, it's just a light sort of sheer peachy pink color with lots and lots of glitters in it and I really like wearing this on top of lipstick because I feel like by itself it doesn't give quite the effect I, I look for in a lip gloss I guess like I just feel like yeah, pair it with a matching uh, or a similar like lipstick and you are good to go. Or even a lip liner this could could really make this stand out as well. So yeah, these, these were my uh, summer favorites for 2015. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be talking to you all again really soon. Bye guys.